Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit GTS for Mini and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from the iPhone on this watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, your watch needs to be paired with an iPhone via the Zap application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the Zep application to send the notifications to our watch. So let's open the settings on our iPhone. In settings, let's scroll down to the list of applications. And on this list, find the Zep application and tap on it. Here, make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled and also tap on notifications and enable allow notifications option. Then we can go back to the settings page, scroll through the settings, scroll all the way up, find the Bluetooth option and tap on it. And here you should see the Amazfit GTS for many on the list of my devices. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here make sure that the share system notifications option is enabled. Once this option is enabled, you can close the settings and open the Zep application on your iPhone. In the application, you should see the home page. Now you can tap on the profile icon and then select your Amazfit GTS for Mini from the list. And here tap on notification and reminder. And as you can see here, we have a couple types of notifications. We have incoming call, app alerts, standing reminder, incoming SMS, incoming email, and goal notifications. We're gonna focus on incoming call, app alerts, incoming SMS, and incoming email. So let's tap on incoming call, and here we can enable the notifications for the calls, basically. So if somebody is calling you on your iPhone, the watch will alert you about that call and you can enable it or disable it by tapping on the switch. And if you enable it, you can enable or disable the option to show the contact information on the watch. And also you can enable delay. So if somebody calls you on your iPhone, the watch will wait a certain period of time before alerting you. And you can tap on set delay and basically check the, or set the time of the delay, for example, 20 seconds. Okay, let's go back to the notification and reminder menu and tap on app alerts and here we can enable or disable the notifications for specific applications for example we can enable it for discord facebook gmail and stuff like that you can also disable them by tapping on the switch next so customize it to your liking enable or disable the notifications for the specific apps and once you're done you can go back Okay, now let's tap on incoming SMS and here we can enable or disable the notifications for the messages by tapping on the switch. And once you're done, uh, you can go back, tap on incoming email and the same. You can enable or disable the notifications for emails by tapping on the switch. And once you're done, you should, you should be able to receive the notifications on your watch. So we can close the application. I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. And as you can see, we got the message on our iPhone and also when we wake up the screen on our watch, we got it on our watch right here. And we can tap on it, I believe, no, we can't. We can only read it and tap on delete. If you miss the notifications, you can swipe up on the home screen to open the notification menu. Okay. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.